so welcome back and meta aggression meta analysis series we have completed the first part second part third part fifth part and the fifth one and right now we are on how to calculate the effect size for all studies in our data set so just a recap to show you what our data set is so here is our data set we have here and basically we have look at this one we have the FHZ variance and effect size so we're gonna look at the effect size from all these studies the combined effect size so how to do that so what do we need to calculate the effect size? We need two libraries. And if you are interested in looking at the other parts or steps, I'm going to put these steps in the link, in the, their links in the description below. So if you're interested, you can go there and learn about Metana step by step. So we need these two libraries for calculating the effect size of all studies in R. First thing we're gonna do, we wanna activate them. So basically we're gonna do all of that. So hit control, enter, control, enter. And then I'm just gonna create a variable to store all our equation for the equation for click the effect size and then I'm gonna call and function function from the metaphor package called RMA once I do that I'm gonna put the effect size hg so basically this is what it means if you go back so I have stored the hg in yi variance and vi standard deviation in sei so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna look at for the variance then I'm gonna tell R hey I want this from the file called feedback so basically you can see here something like data the first one so this one is data you can see that there are some rows here this one is a moderator code in the study so I want the data that the whole data is not the moderator not just the moderator or the factor there so once I do that, I'm going to tell R if I need more information. Say, hey, I want this model. It's called the random effect model. So the code for that, the random effect model, is RAML. So this is the random effect model in R. So I'm going to check if this whole equation has been stored correctly in this variable. So I'm going to click control, enter, and as you can see on the right side, hey, it tells me, yeah, it's fine. No mistakes there. So I'm just going to call this variable control F and basically this is what it tells me this is the results I'm gonna see so it says random effect size model so I have eight studies but you know it has to minus one so this is say seven study this is the random model and one of the 
results i'm interested in this one so i have like say it's two percent difference very small the test of her to genity so degree of freedom minus one is steady so basically this is six so basically tells me hey you have seven studies let me look let me check back if i have seven oh correct yeah i have seven studies yeah so this is seven studies and then degree of freedom takes one minus so it's six that tells me this is how it's you know differ the b value it says hey it's not significant so the effect size of feedback it's not significant and the estimate which is the hedges g so we come here to the hedges g um, for the all studies it says it is 18 0 0.18 so it's a small we have the b value for this not significant and we have the confidence interval so this is the lower bound which is the smallest one it says the lower bound is minus 0 0.03 upper bound 0 uh, 0.40 so this study is not significant let's just say yeah so but how are we gonna check the subgroup analysis which is the difference between um, uh, the moderators so each moderator in this study so we're gonna do the subgroup analysis to see if there is a difference between implicit and explicit beginner and intermediate and so the subgroup analysis in the next tutorial then out the tutorial after that we're going to do the regression analysis so we're going to see which variable could be significant could have an effect in the studies which one of these have feedback type all so the regression and then the meta meta regression or multiple regression analysis we're going to see which if they are together have a, an effect so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the other tutorials so we have i believe three or four tutorials to finish the series of how to do a meta regression or meta analysis and all so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial